Looking for that special gift for your favorite outdoor enthusiast? Or for yourself, you'll find it here. DG Power Sports has all your outdoor sporting supplies and parts. We're located at 10390 Highway 421 North in Milton, Kentucky. We are just two miles from Madison, Indiana and only a short distance from the Dirty Turtle Off-Road Park and Dakota Racetrack. We are open Tuesdays through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I am Darren Gross. Thank you for your support, and I look forward to seeing you. I'm AJ Brammer, and I'm live in studio. As always, I am joined by State District Service Officer Joe DeVito. Joe, as always, it is good to see you. Hey, thanks for thanks for having me. It's good to be here. And uh, we are also joined by a couple of guests for this program. Um, in addition to Joe being here, we are joined by Jefferson County Veteran Service Officer Faith Weir. So good to see Faith, as always. Good morning. Thanks for having me. And also joining us from Switzerland County, the Switzerland County Veteran Service Officer, Dwayne Covington. So thank you very much, Dwayne, for joining us. Thanks for inviting. And uh, we have a couple of other microphones here, so we'll, All right, we'll, we'll distribute we'll, those. We'll out spread here. those out. So, All Joe, right. as we uh, check in with you, uh, what are we talking about this month for Veterans Talk? Well, I wanted to go over a couple things. I wanted to, uh, in covering the listening area, get some county service officers in uh, from the surrounding areas. It's always good to have faith here, and I wanted to get Dwayne down from Switzerland County. Um, a few years back, uh, Dwayne took over in Switzerland. When did you start down there? Switzerland County. 2015. 2015. And pr oh, prior to 2015, there, uh, the county service officers, we've talked in the past about how we're kind of growing, um, getting to be more hours and getting the service officers on more of a, a system where everybody's kind of working toward the same goal. And, right. you know, the old system, um, it was just a different setup a long time ago where the counties were a little more individualized. And up in Switzerland County, there was not many hours for that service officer so you know uh, cahoots to the Switzerland County government to when it was time for Duane in 2015 they gave you some more hours a little more office space um, I'm not sure the old CVSO even had an office back then um, so Duane's got a, he's got a spot now in one of the county buildings and so it, we're starting to build that up as well as other counties so I wanted to get Duane down and have people know where he's at and uh, let everybody know what we're doing so we'll talk about some of that. We'll talk with uh, Faith about some of the stuff in Jefferson County. We got a, uh, we had the women's program. We'll do a little wrap up on that from uh, last week up in Indianapolis. And uh, I got a couple other things we'll talk about. Some local stuff, and and uh, we'll also hit on some of the ramp programs, the new VA program for the appeals process. I want to let folks know about. Well, excellent. So as we said. Dwayne Covington joining us from the uh, Switzerland County Veterans Service Office. So, and Joe, as you were saying, you know, just getting. So, Dwayne, sounds like you guys are uh, getting that office in a little more, a little more regular operation. Yeah, I put in uh, around 20 hours a week is what they've got me for, um, and we're trying to work on some new programs. Basically, getting the the uh, veterans in the community to know that I'm there uh, to reach out, and uh, hopefully they'll come in on a more regular basis than what they have been in the past. Uh, it's been pretty frugal trying to get them in so um, hopefully I can get the word out to them and, and they can come in I'm down at the uh, educational technology building in the, on the seminary street uh, second floor got a nice big office up there and it's uh, well lit and try to get visibility and get them in there All right, what are your hours there my hours are, are from 8 in the morning till 4 30 in the afternoon on Mondays and Wednesdays and from 8 to 12 30 on Thursday all right. So yeah, that's then that's the info we want to get out. Uh, Dwayne and I were we're talking, chatting this morning a little bit about um, some of the things we can discuss, and he was bringing up how uh, Faith can attest to this as well. A lot of folks come in on the last minute with things um, when when they need to know about service connected disabilities, pensions, any assistance or help or programs from the VA. It's usually the very last minute that when it's needed at that moment so one of the goals is to get out here do these community outreaches do the radio program and let folks know get in there sooner you know we, we talk about it all the time on the show and the main goal is if you know if you're a veteran uh, if you have a family member who's a veteran uh, encourage them to find their county service officer and go see them there's one in every county in the state and it's important to go you know now before you need anything find out all the things that are available 
get put into our system. Um, this way, when time comes, you're that much closer to getting those services and benefits that are available. That's certainly something you know we talk about on this program a lot. You know, just wanting people to be aware that you know the services are there. They there is somebody to help you with the process. They sure are, sure. And I mean, Faith could probably give you an example of how many times folks come in for one thing and find out there's a whole bunch of other benefits available to them that they aren't even aware of are available that uh you know that's out there and, and mm -hmm. they came in to find out about a, a property tax abatement or something that a friend told them about right. and they finds out they're a agent orange uh presumptive disorder service connected claim that yes. can be life-changing for that mm -hmm. veteran so yeah yeah, it's important to just get in there. Go find out what's available. Bring your paperwork down there and find out what's available. Mm -hmm. I think that for your office, like we said, um, this past week we had the, the Women's Conference up in Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. And then also it was this past Thursday was Vietnam Veterans Day, correct? Yes, yes. We, uh, we, we advertised for it and we kind of put the word out there. Um, we didn't get as many people through the doors as we would have liked, but it was the first year of us doing it. And um, so we wanted to do something special to recognize our Vietnam veterans. And, um, but it was nice and uh, we had a lot of folks that, that helped out and donated, you know, cookies and cupcakes and, and you know, coffee and things like that. So it was a nice turnout. And uh, so we're hoping next year we get a bigger crowd in and and we'll do a little better with advertising and getting the word out and it, it you know part of the problem is is and I hear this so often is you know I'll have veterans come in that didn't realize that there was a veteran service officer in town or didn't even know what a veteran service officer is or what we do and um, and like Joe said, you know, or or I might have a veteran come in that said, hey, I just want to find out, you know, what kind of benefits are available to me. And then the next thing I know, we're getting ready to get them, you know, ready to do a claim for a service connection for something. So it's definitely important to get the word out that, you know, you have a veteran service officer for your county, we're available. And um, so that's that's just critical. Yeah, it sure is. And, it, and for folks to know, too, that the county service officers, it's not the VA. A lot of folks think it's the VA office. So <laughs> yes. um, it's not the VA. It's really, it's your advocate. If you're a veteran or, or the relative or dependent of a veteran, you know, this is your, your, your we've equated it to your urgent care for benefits as far as state and federal go. You know, the federal VA has got a, a, a litany of uh, benefits out there for they're for veterans and some dependent uh, claims as well. And the state of Indiana, uh, the Indiana Department of Veterans Affairs offers a lot of benefits as well. And it's, we, we cover a lot of those on here and we'll continue to, but it's, it's individual really to each person. Mm -hmm. So it's so vitally important to sit down one-on-one -on -one with your county service officer, bring your DD-214, if you don't have it, they can help you find it, um, and, and go over your status, your specific situation, and find out what's available to you. The big idea of this program is you know, just reaching out to our veterans in our area about different services they may not be aware of. Uh, one of the ones, Joe, I know you wanted to talk about was Habitat House. Absolutely. Um, we, uh, the Jefferson County Veterans Council, um, we do a lot of work throughout the uh, community as much as we can do uh, the council's main purpose for many years was to run our our van process which the van is uh, there to it's a combination of the DAV and the VA um, it's a program where we have a van and we get veterans to their medical appointments at the Louisville VA Medical Center and also the New Albany uh, community-based outpatient clinic from the VA um, and for many years and continuing on the, the Jefferson County Veterans Council coordinates that van, uh, coordinates the drivers, and helps those veterans get to those appointments. And then in the last few years, the council has started to expand to do some other projects. Um, we've talked in the past about uh, the great achievement of last year of getting the new memorial on the courthouse lawn. So that was a council program where from, you know, from, from inception to completion was less than a year and raised uh, all the money to do it um, from donation and it was a, a great project the council did. This year they're uh, getting into the flag uh, program and um, Faith, you know a little bit more about that but it's with the folks can purchase a veterans banner that hangs around town and so right. we're getting those put on the light posts around town. So yep. um, that's kind of what the council does. Um, Dwayne, we've been talking about uh, Switzerland County Veterans Council getting one going there. Um, the Indiana Department of Veterans Affairs thinks it's great for all the counties to kind of do that. It's a great 
organization for folks to, if you want to help out local veterans, it's a good place to, to deposit that money and you know it's going to go to local veterans so we can take donations in that way. Um, we do the stand down every year, which I can say um, we're looking to doing again this year. Um, with the way our turnout has been, we're going to go with more uh, all the services that we always have at the stand down for all veterans so about you know we can get information and actual services to them and let them know about what's available for for all veterans from folks who are at risk and have uh, homeless issues and other emergency issues all the way up to just all veterans so with that's the kind of crowd we've been having so we're going to do it this year again and we're going to do it as much of a of kind of a military and veterans appreciation day as well as the services so we're looking to kind of open it up even more and have yes. it be more of a celebration here in town um, and we'll get more details to you as we work those out um, that'll be coming up in late summer early fall is what we're looking at on that and so the habitat for humanity right now uh, locally is building a home and it's for a veteran and so it's uh, you know it's near and dear to our hearts and I know that they're getting to the point of latter part of the project and they're looking for folks to come in so anybody who wants to help volunteer um, with this current habitat home um, I don't have the habitat number but you can call Faith's office at 812-265-3600 uh, mm -hmm. that's the Jefferson County Veteran Service Officer and uh, get a hold of her and she can kind of direct you in that right spot yes yeah, yeah. yep absolutely um, I believe April 14th um, from 9.30 to 2.30, um, they're gonna have an all hands on, on deck with volunteers. Um, and uh, lunch will be provided. Oh. Um, they're needing help with landscaping, um, painting, hanging doors, and trim work, from right. what I'm told. So. You're a construction, aren't you? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> <Are> you? <laughs> well, I, yeah, I know that they would hopefully get folks down there, so that would be a great, great program to get them in there mm -hmm. as well um, and I alluded to the van as well um, that we have this van program so they're always looking for drivers that's the, the biggest need and we've talked before about folks uh, contacting the radio station contacting us and, and folks out there who just want to help veterans out whether it's with a, a donation or some other way and uh, if, you, if you live right here in the area the, the most immediate impact you can do to help veterans is to drive the van be a volunteer driver so that's one way you can immediately impact our local veterans um, I've been getting a lot of calls too um, I don't know if you guys have been contacted I've been hearing from some of the counties about um, there's just so many organizations out there now that are veteran organizations that are looking for donations and other things and it's hard to keep track of who's legit and who's not. It, right. um, so I, I can say that if you, if so, if folks are out there and they want to help out, send a donation in or, or help a veterans organization, I can't say who's completely legit, who's not. You can do some research on that, but you can't go wrong with the, the VFW, the American Legion, or the DAV. Uh, the national organizations on those, they're they put a lot of time and effort into legislation, helping veterans with benefits. Mm -hmm. They have all national service officers throughout the country at the regional offices. And so they're, they're kind of boots on the ground. And it, if you do donate to one of those, I can tell you, I know that your money's going to go to help veterans. Um, as far as the other ones go, there's, there's so many out there. But do your research if it's someone you haven't heard of. Right. Um, unfortunately, there's uh, unscrupulous people everywhere trying to get their peace. So keep, keep your eye out on that. And if you want to stick safe, you can look to your local organizations. You can, you know, Dwayne, if you're in Switzerland County, pop in on him or give him a call. He might know of some local folks there. Uh, and hopefully we can get that council going up there too. And uh, on, the, on the van thing, you guys are looking at getting a van going as well in the county. Correct. After a conversation with you and some of the other surrounding counties, uh, we've looked into it and it looks like it's going to be a lot more positive than what it was a month ago. Um, we're trying to get it off the ground and what we want to do is coordinate with, with the surrounding counties and maybe, uh, I guess, well, you hitch a ride or whatever uh, and get them to a certain point so we can marry them up. If, if somebody has to go all the way to Louisville or all the way to Cincinnati, I can go to either side of the counties. Uh, because of where we're located compared to the others, uh, be able to make it work. And that way it's, it, it's a joint effort, and uh, I think everybody would be pleased with it, I believe. Yeah, and that's, you know, part of the goal of, uh, of 
you know, we have our county service officers, but the lines that separate the counties are nothing but lines on a map. So Dwayne's in a, in a really unique spot in Switzerland County because he's got some veterans who use the Cincinnati VA Medical Center, and he's got other veterans who use the Louisville VA Medical Center. Um, and as with our van, um, we go to Louisville. So, um, you know, Dwayne, with his location, is, is a decent trip from either one of those. The Dearborn County has an excellent van program that runs to the Cincinnati VA Hospital. Um, and their county van is a county run van. Um, so we met with Ohio County and Duane and we're kind of discussing how we can all work together. So maybe Duane can get folks to the clinic in Lawrenceburg who need to go to the hospital where they can hop on the Dearborn County van and get that ride to the hospital come back and then use the Switzerland County van to come home and and same thing with Jefferson County drop folks off here in a spot where our our van coordinator can get them take them over on to Louisville and without having the vans kind of drive all it's hard to have a couple veterans and have to drive long distances and they obviously can't go in two directions so trying to find a new system get all the counties on the same page and kind of coordinating with each other so it's uh it's exciting to hear that that Ohio County, Switzerland County like that idea and it's something maybe we can start implementing a little more throughout the state. Certainly seeing the counties working together as the district service officer, that's uh, encouraging for you. It sure is. I mean, the, the goal at the end of the day um, for the county service officers, for the Indiana Department of Veterans Affairs, for the VA, for anybody who does this work, um, really is for a Hoosier veteran to get the, the most accurate and precise service that they need from their um, from from all of us. So th their first line, their their first line is to hit their county service officer. Like like we said, that's the urgent care. That's your first place to go. Boots on the ground, folks, who can help you in the right direction. If you're going to look at some benefits for federal or state, they're there to help you through that whole process. They'll know you all your supporting documentation you need, what you don't need, what you need to fill out, and where to send it. And that's that's the key to claims. Our um. Our, our awards for veterans, since we've implemented our, our uh, accreditation for service officers, since we've implemented the district service officers, since we've implemented the uh, Vetrospec um, uh, standardized system that we, data entry system that we put all our veterans in and it produces all our claims. Um, that's all happened in about 2013. We started implementing all these, phasing these programs in to kind of bring Indiana up. And our, our expenditures from the VA that comes into the state are how we, things are measured. It's those tax-free dollars to the veterans of each state is a way to measure our progress. And uh, our veteran population in the last five years have actually decreased um, by almost 40,000 veterans. So we've lost quite a few veterans in the state. But our expenditures from VA went up from 800 million to 1.3 billion in that time. So we've got a lot more money coming in and that is a direct result of the hard work of the county service officers. Um, like I said, these guys are boots on the ground filing claims and these guys can attest to you. A lot of veterans are upset about the claims process. They, they put things in with the VA that they feel like, oh, you know, they, they didn't get their fair shake or they didn't get what they deserved. And most of the time, a lot of the claims that are denied initially, it just was a filing issue. Where it was sent, it was filled out wrong. So uh, using your service officer is how you avoid that. And you get the claim done right the first time. And we can see the results are coming in. We've lowered our population but increased our intake. So that's that's a direct result of this, the hard work these guys are doing. With State District Service Officer Joe DeVito, we've also been joined for this month's program by Faith Weir and Dwayne Covington. They are the Jefferson County and Switzerland County Veteran Service Officers. So Joe, obviously, like we said, appreciate uh, having you guys on the program. Chance to check in with your offices and just get the word out to our veterans about these services that are available. Absolutely. And you know, the, the VA, state, and federal is ever changing. There's always things going on. So that's why it's important to not only initially go see your service officer, but get to know them, stay in touch with them, and that's where you need to go to find information out. Um, and I wanted to allude real quick in the last segment we talked about veterans who weren't happy with their claims process. And when that happens, you file an appeal with the VA. You know, the appeals process is, is, is a horrifyingly long, mm -hmm. complicated, arduous, frustrating process. Um, and the VA does, they do try to, to, to fix these problems as they come. And there's a new 
ramp program for veterans who have appeals currently pending with the VA. And there's a couple options in there for them to really expedite their, their, their appeal. Some folks might have three, four more years waiting on their appeal and they can choose one of these options and maybe get it done in 125 days. So once again, that's one of those things that we're not gonna get into weeds on the details, but that's where you can go see your service officer and they can help you out again. So um, if you guys could go over once again your, your hours, office locations, phone numbers for the folks in your area, that'd be great. Our office is open from uh, Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and the phone number is 812-265-3600. In Switzerland County, uh, we're located on Seminary Street, 708. Uh, my phone number is 812-427-4302. And my hours are Monday and Wednesday, 8 to 4.30, and on Thursday from 8 to noon. And uh, feel free to stop in any time. All right. And that, those are your county veteran service officers for Switzerland County and Jefferson County. Once again, there's one in every county in the state. So we, we can find that on the IDVA website, which is uh, in.gov forward slash DVA. Um, that's where you can find a list of all the county service officers. Um, and it's just imperative, like we say, always say, if you're a veteran out there, or you know a veteran, or you're the relative of a veteran, encourage them to go see their county service officer. We definitely appreciate you guys coming on the program. Anything else you guys would like to add? That's it. I'd like to thank our sponsor once again, Farmers Bank of Milton, for helping us out and getting the show going. Um, and I know we have a video sponsor as well, Spoken Crows, so I'd like to thank them as well. So appreciate all the effort, and thanks for having us. Definitely appreciate you guys coming on the program. That is State District Service Officer Joe DeVito and Faith Weir, the Jefferson County Veteran Service Officer, and Dwayne Cummington, the Switzerland County Veteran Service Officer, join us here once again for Veterans Talk. And that's